we're unboxing Huawei's newest wearable, the Huawei Watch Fit. Also, we're checking out what this thing can do. Good afternoon, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isa Does Tech, where we do tech in your real life in style. So, Huawei already has a bunch of really cool wearables. We have the Huawei Watch GT line, and I especially love the Huawei Watch GT 2 elegant edition those things were really pretty they have Huawei bands which are very very capable bands at very good price points and they have a pink version in this video we're checking out Huawei's fitness band that's sort of in between those two things this is the Huawei watch fit and from the name itself it connotes that it is a wearable that should track your health and fitness except this time around as you can see it has this like bigger screen spoiler alert this also comes in a pretty sakura pink but i don't have it so this thing has built-in gps spo2 heart rate tracking menstrual tracking and a 10-day battery time supposedly i'm pretty curious about this wearable so enough speculating let's unbox the huawei watch fit so it says here animated fitness coach long battery life and a 1.64 inch amoled display like i mentioned we have it in the color mint green aka not pink <laughs> we have a qr code on this side which downloads the huawei health app and on the back some quick specs of that amoled display and that long battery life there are 12 animated fitness courses 96 workout modes scientific workout guidance you see that folks science that is what we should all be using as basis for our actions. Full health monitoring, built-in GPS, and 5 ATM water resistance. There is some fine print here and says that number one, which is the 12 animated fitness courses, will be supported via an update, and two, which is the full health monitoring. It says that it supports several health management features, including 24 seven heart rate and sleep tracking. Also, always a warning, this is not intended for medical use. So yes, it does check out and monitor your stats. But I mean, you guys, if there's something out of the ordinary, go see an actual doctor. Let's unbox. And here we, Okay, guys, I'm kidding because I'm already wearing the watch. But before we look at that, let's see what else is in here. Charging port. So you put the watch here and that is a USB. And we have the manual. Right, so I'm actually wearing the watch right now. And I think that looks pretty good considering I have really tiny wrists. It's also pretty lightweight. That green is the same green we saw on the Huawei GT2. E, so it's not so bright but it's also not just a plain white i like that it's very muted i can live with that even if it's not pink the body is gray that is what seems to me plastic and speaking of plastics ooh, let me turn this on and in the meantime watch a montage of this pretty thing so this watch actually connects via bluetooth to the huawei health app and that was a relatively easy pairing process and from the app, you can check out all the different settings, including watch faces. So there are a number here. I think I'm going to go for this really cute puppy. <laughs> That's so adorable. So this is the watch face preset, and that actually looks real nice. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> of course, you can change notification settings. You can change device settings. And of course, you can check out all the data that the watch will get you in detail from here. Right. Let's move on to the actual watch. Say hello to the doggy. 
<laughs> good choice me that's so cute took it off my wrist so i can show you better see we have a very clean side on here and we have one button on the other are these speakers i would think so honestly this is a very light wearable so i'd imagine it's gonna be a very comfy wear on the back that's a bunch of sensors and that's actually a really nice display it's bright and look at those colors swipe down brings you to quick settings under display it gives you different options for watch faces oh this is cute oh my god it moves okay i'm sorry doggy but all the moving and the cute confetti I like this. There's also a standby watch face option. Ooh, this matches the confetti. Okay. Right. Under favorites, this allows you to reorder the menu, I'm assuming. Brightness, it goes up until five. Under advanced, you have screen on and sleep. Vibration motor settings. Okay, I want soft do not disturb workout settings okay we are seeing an auto detect workout i like that when you swipe up you get notifications swipe to the right that is your heart rate stress management that is weather music and those are your activities and back to the main menu to the other side it gives you the same menu and if you press the button you get heart rate blood oxygen measurements so let's see if yes i'm alive <laughs> kidding so the blood oxygen levels this is pretty important these days because you want to be monitoring that they don't drop that is according to an article it is one indication of covid so we've been seeing a lot of people wanting this feature on smartwatches of course again this does not replace medical opinion but it's good to be monitoring your stats because at least if there is a sudden change you can actually go to a doctor and check it out you have activity records so it does track steps calories um time active and all that jazz you have sleep tracking stress monitoring yes and breathing exercises we all need this music there's no music <laughs> Ooh. oh my gosh i love this there's a remote shutter right okay so i went to my phone camera hello if i tap the remote shutter <gasps> i absolutely adore this there's also a timer and you can change that around <gasps> i love this notifications weather stopwatch timer alarm flashlight find my phone i'm here <laughs> <laughs> and of course the watch settings which is what we went through when we opened it from this menu so under workout there are like all these different activities and of course since there is a built-in gps when you turn it on it connects so that means you can go on runs and it will track where you did your run on a map even without your phone nice you have pool swim and open water swim here because this is after all waterproof and of course you can add more activities Ooh, strength and you can also change settings for each exercise and ooh, you can change reminders and intervals for each set i like that i like that because and they have hit also you can do home hit and set it up so that you get interval reminders on your watch you don't need to be looking at the timer when you exercise nice and yeah all those other 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 <laughs> parallel bars nice yeah, there are a lot of stuff on here. I've got to admit that I didn't know what Huawei was going for when I learned about the Huawei Watch Fit. But now, I sort of get it. It's an in-between watch in their wearable line. 
from the glamorous GT series that are stunning watches to the Huawei Band, which are very simple trackers. Now the Huawei Band Fit is in between those two, a fitness-focused wearable which allows you to enjoy the on-screen experience. Light enough to be worn every day, all day for the tracking, but with a big and nice enough display to allow you to actually enjoy navigating through the watch. And they don't look bad either. These watch faces can definitely make a statement. Of course, this is just my first look at the Huawei Watch Fit, so let me know if a full review on this is a video you'd like to see. No rush though, because <laughs> this is pretty comfy on my wrist. And that was today's video. We just unboxed the Huawei Watch Fit, and I know it's not pink, but I think that still works. So this watch is priced at 110 US, although we will be finding out pH pricing today. I'll link that down below and where you can get this. Let me know what you think about this new Huawei wearable. If you want to see more of my day today, you can find me online. That's at IsaDoes underscore. Until next time.